This is my collection of Commodore data cassette recorders or data sets. I just recently completed the collection so I thought I would do a show and tell video to show off the collection and uh, talk briefly about each model and variant. They're laid out here in roughly chronological order. The first two here are internal cassette drives from the Commodore PET computer and the rest are external drives used in the uh, PET and the VIC-20, Commodore 64 and the Plus 4. I'd like to thank Giacomo Vernoni for his excellent book on the history of Commodore tape recorders. It was Giacomo's book that uh, got me interested in all the different variants and inspired me to collect them all. If you're interested, I'll post a link below to the free PDF download. Uh, Giacomo also wrote a terrific book about the Commodore VIC-20. This PET computer is one of the first 100 that were made in the fall of 1977. The Sanyo cassette drive here was used only in that first 100 and in a few pre-production units before then, including the original wooden prototype. This is actually a Sanyo audio recorder that Commodore bought retail and modified in-house. The corner was cut off here to avoid interference with the heat sinks inside the PET. Commodore just covered up the Sanyo logo with a sticker. For more information on this drive, I'll post a link to another video up here in the corner and a link to my blog post down in the description. The next drive is the White Keys version that was used in the PET starting in December 1977. Because this drive was never sold separately, it doesn't have a model number. It's usually referred to as the White Keys drive or the OEM drive. Like the Sanyo drive, this one's based on audio recorder, but it was custom branded for Commodore by the OEM. It's unclear whether Commodore bought these as audio recorders and modified them in-house, or if the OEM shipped them to Commodore like this. This one has the silver brushed aluminum labels with black letters on it. There is another variant that has black labels with white lettering. I'm not likely to get one of those unless I get another pet that happens to have that version in it. It's worth noting that the drives are not interchangeable. You can see that this drive won't fit in the earlier case that was meant for the Sanyo drive. The mounting brackets are incompatible also. For more information on this drive, I'll post a link to another video up here in the corner and to a blog post down in the description. Next up is the black version of the C2N drive. This was introduced around the middle of 1978 and replaced the white keys drive in the Commodore PET. It was also the first drive to be sold separately as an external drive. Like the white keys drive, this was also made in Taiwan and internally it is virtually identical to the previous drive. This was mostly just a change to the plastic housing. The internal mechanisms are virtually identical except for the addition of an eject key on the C2N. After the black C2N came the white C2N. Virtually identical to the black one in every way except for the addition of a tape counter. The white C2N comes in a couple of different variants. There's a black tape counter and a white tape counter. And uh, later on they made changes around the time of the VIC-20 came out. The cable changed to a gray color and a connector shell was added to make it easier to remove. These early ones were made for the PET. This uh, braided grounding wire was added for FCC compliance. This cable was notorious on the VIC-20 for causing shorts. There's just no place to connect it on a VIC-20 or a C64 and it would just flop around and sometimes get inside the user port or the cassette port and short out. It also seems to me that there's a subtle difference in the size of the Commodore logo impression in the plastic here. The later ones slightly larger. This is an example of the early version of the box for the C2N. There's a manual for the white version of the C2N which later changed to a different style. Both versions of the manual show a connection with the VIC-20 as well as the PET. Next up is the 1530. This is the 1530 that I bought in 1982 to use with my VIC-20. And I cut the ground wire off of it because it just kept getting in the way. It's got some cable burn here on the bottom because it was stored with the cord coiled up underneath it for a long time. You can see this version was made in Taiwan. There's another variant that was made in Japan. And there are some notable differences. The color of the sticker behind the cassette window tape counter 
is smaller and white instead of black and the record light is over here above the record key instead of underneath the tape counter. Internally they have some similarities but the mechanisms are quite different. Later on Commodore made a cosmetic change to both versions of the drive making the logo on the front much larger. The units are not marked as 1530s. The Taiwanese units are marked C2N and the Japanese units don't really have a model number there although they have the C2N and the FCC ID. The early box and manual simply say C2N although this box is also marked BIC 1530. The later boxes and manuals are marked 1530 model C2N Now sometimes you may see them as a C2N model 1530. I just refer to them as a 1530 to avoid confusion with the early models. The last drive the Commodore made was the 1531. Just like the 1530, this has a Taiwanese and Japanese version. The color was changed to black to match the 264 series of computers, the C16, the Plus 4, and the 116. The connector was different on the 264 series of computers. It was smaller, probably to save space on the board, but also the shielded design of the connector meant they didn't have to include the ground wire. An adapter was included for backwards compatibility with earlier 8-bit Commodores. The recent bonus addition to the collection, the 1531 also came in white. This one is the Taiwanese made variant, but it is marked 1531 and has a 1531 cable and connector. That's the whole collection. I hope this video was interesting or informative. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and be sure to check the links down in the description. Thanks for watching.